Merry Christmas everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the most golden and crispy roast potatoes. These are so easy to do and taste absolutely amazing. And these roast potatoes are absolutely perfect for Christmas dinner. Let's start off by preheating our oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit on fan forced. Here I have one kilo of Desiree potatoes and I'm just going to peel all of these. For this recipe, you don't have to use Desiree potatoes. You can use any potato with a high starch content such as russet, Idaho's and Yukon gold. The reason we need starchy potatoes is because they are low in moisture and sugar levels and this makes them an all round better potato to be roasted and achieve a really crisp yet fluffy potato. Once they are peeled, I'm just going to discard up the peel. Usually with vegetable peels, I would save these and make a stock, but unfortunately with potato peel, it actually ruins a stock. With a nice sharp knife, I'm then going to cut the potatoes into quarters. Add them into a large pot or saucepan. and fill the pot or saucepan with enough cold water to cover the potatoes, allowing about one inch of water to sit above the potatoes. I'm going to chuck these onto my stove top, place it onto a high heat and bring it to a boil. Now that the water is at a boil, reduce the heat to a medium and simmer for nine minutes or until you can stick a knife into the potatoes and it almost reaches the center, leaving a little bit of resistance. In the meantime, add half a cup of vegetable oil to a medium to large roasting tray Evenly distribute the oil around the tray. And place it in the preheated oven for 10 minutes to allow the oil to become nice and hot. After nine minutes, our potatoes are ready to come off. Being careful, I'm just going to pour these through a colander to drain. And just watch out for the steam as it can produce some pretty nasty burns. Then allow the potatoes to sit for a minute or two, just to allow any excess moisture to drain. Then chuck a lid or a plate over the colander and shake well to fluff up the potatoes. What we are looking for here is for the outside of the potatoes to almost be mashed, but still intact. And this is how we will achieve such crispy potatoes. The oil will seep into the cracks and crisp up. Once that's done, carefully take the hot tray with the hot oil out of the oven and spoon in the potatoes. I recommend not tipping the potatoes in, otherwise the hot oil will splash and burn you. And you could also potentially break up the potatoes. So be nice and gentle. Make sure they are all evenly spread out. and sprinkle one and a half teaspoons of sea salt onto these and then carefully mix them around, coating them in the hot oil and the salt. Place them into the oven and roast these for 55 minutes to one hour. And we want to make sure we stir these around every 15 minutes just to achieve perfect color and texture all over. Then after one hour, just look at those. Beautiful color and you can see how crisp they are. I'm going to add these to a serving bowl and make sure not to forget the small crispy pieces. These are some of the best bits. These feel so good and the color is just absolutely amazing. And if you want with these, you could chop up some fresh thyme or parsley and add that to these for some extra flavor and color, but that's completely up to you. And just listen to that crunch. These are so tasty. You can prepare these potatoes a day or two in advance. Just do the first step by boiling and then fluffing them up and then we can just chuck them in the fridge. And when you're ready to cook them, just get them out, heat the oil up and chuck them in the oven. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I was able to teach you something. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below as it really helps my videos and my channel grow. 
And if you'd like to see more, just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification next to it so you never miss when I upload. And this week, leading up to Christmas, all of my recipes will be Christmas inspired, so stay tuned for that. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.